Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Welcome to day five of five. This is it. After today, you guys can probably, hopefully, do any project that I already have recorded. So the day one was an overview of Design Space. So here are all the features and tools within Design Space. Um, and just a quick like understanding of how to use it so that you can start designing. Day two is, okay, you started to design, but you don't have the right materials. So day two is a tour of all the essentials that you need. Granted, I don't know what kind of projects you're gonna be into, and you might not even know yourself yet. So I think for me, um, in that first six months even, you know, I was asking some friends, like, what do you think I should buy? And they kept saying, well, it depends on what you wanna do. I'm like, I don't know what I wanna do. Like, I don't even know what the machine can do, so let alone what I think I wanna do. So, but this is gonna give you the basics, things that you need no matter what you go into, like your mats, your blades, and then also um, to try to kind of expand and, and explore what you like to do is let's get some sample of vinyl and HTV so that you could try it on the cheap, right? So nothing crazy, you're gonna get funky colors, but you get to see like, okay, is that something that's even interesting? Like I thought I was gonna be doing a lot of shirts um, and that's one of my least favorite projects these days. So anyway, and I didn't think I was gonna like paper at all and I ended up doing a lot of cardstock, cardstock stuff and I didn't even know these things existed off the mat. So, which is funny because I feel like that's my number one thing that I'm really, really good at. And like I said, I didn't even know it, it existed. Um, so anyway, that's day two. Day three, I know it's only day three and technically you've only been in design space for one day, but day three, you have to use these three apps, Inkscape, Font Cloud, and um, Font Lab Pad. It is a lifesaver. We're gonna be doing them again today so that you guys kind of get used to it. Day four was a machine overview. Um, it's my least favorite one because I felt like I didn't have a lot of tips for you or anything, um, but it's just how I feed things in, you know, if something goes wrong, what do I do? That kind of thing. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, today is a project. So as you can see on my screen, we're gonna be personalizing some things with the word goals 2021 on it. And I cut out a few different things so that you could see like some common mistakes and then you can see a difference between the materials and whether or not we layer and what that's gonna look like. So I think that gives you kind of just, I mean, this is not a deep dive into any of the things that you can do in design space, right? Or with your Cricut. This is, I just got my machine and I don't know what to do with it. So let's kind of learn enough so that you can take your baby steps and go in there. And then you're going to be learning for a long time. That first year, I mean, at least with me, because I just hated going on YouTube. I didn't even know what to look for. And that was part of my problem was, um, I'm not a card maker and I'm not a scrapbooker. So I sort of just got the machine to, because I'm a mom and <laughs> I thought I would kind of use it with my daughter, but I didn't know in what way. And she was only uh, two when I got it. So <laughs> it wasn't like she was gonna use it with me. Um, anyway, so like I said, this that first year, it was really hard for me because oh, when I wanted to do a project, I didn't even know what, what it was called or what to look for or how to make it easier for me. Like I just knew I, I just couldn't put what was in my head onto design space and definitely not from design space to, you know, to make it. So anyway, this is just to get you going and then you can watch other videos, but I want you to be able to go like get in there, start designing and make something because you're going to each project you're going to learn that learning curve. Like I said, is steep. Um, I made a lot of mistakes. I felt like for that first year, every project had a mistake every day that I touched that stupid machine, <laughs> there was a mistake. And I still, I mean, now I feel like I'm somewhat of an expert, right? Um, make mistakes all the time and you see it on my videos. Um, so anyway, let's get started. So, I get this question a lot. Why do I use Font Lab Pad and Inkscape? So Font Lab Pad I use sometimes because sometimes my Inkscape is just acting up on me. That's one reason, that's a bad reason, but it happens. Um, but sometimes I don't need an outline. I am doing um, sticker labels or something like that. And I just want the names. So I'm gonna type out a bunch of names. I don't need to go into Inkscape for that outline. <clears throat> 
And of course, if you get good at Inkscape, oh my gosh, kudos to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm. But I only use Inkscape to do an offset. I know. It, that's my goal for 2021. But right now it's still 2020. So I'm just going to hold on to my, my um, pathetic ways of not learning Inkscape. But anyway, so in Font Lab Pad, let's bring it up. So usually I go in here and I go into files and recent fonts because I am a creature of habit and I use a lot of the same fonts. So this one right here is Hanaberry Koo. So I'm just gonna select it and I'm gonna type in, so in here I'm gonna type in goals and 2021, okay? And you're going to click on the pick list, save as, and I'm gonna put goals 2021 demo because I just did this so that it's already there, <laughs> so I can cut it. Okay, now we're gonna go into Inkscape. In Inkscape, you're going to go to Import and you're gonna bring in that file, right? So the file was Goals 2021 Demo. Uh, here we go. And just click OK. All right, so here it is. Let me make this bigger. It's really small, so I'm gonna make it big, right? But I want to look at this. So right now it's not locked. I wanna lock the file down because I wanna make it um, as however wide it needs to be, it will grow in height proportionately. Um, so same thing as design space. If you have it unlocked, you can make it super skinny, right? Or super fat and short, whatever you wanna do. But I like to lock it because I want it to be the way the designer had envisioned for the words goals and 2021. <laughs> okay, so this is currently selected. I'm gonna click in the white empty space. Then I'm gonna go and click on my paint bucket and I'm gonna pick any color, it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna grow up here. I'm gonna put 15. I like growing by 15 and 30, or I will do 10 and 20 or 20 and 40, depending on how thick I want things. But I like 15 and 30 just in general. So. I'm gonna grow this by 15, so I'm gonna click here in the word goals, and you see how it gave me that outline in blue? Now 2020, 2021, it's not connected, so I'm going to have to click on each um, number to give me that offset, as opposed to goals. Goals was all connected, so I just needed to click on the word, and it gave me the whole outline. Okay, I'm gonna click on the arrow button, and this is currently selected because it was the last thing that we did in here. So I want to click my arrow in an empty space because I don't want anything selected. I'm gonna go to the paint bucket again and I'm gonna pick yet another color. Then this time I'm gonna grow by 30. So now look at my goals. It got much bigger, right? And 2021, same thing, it's still not connected. So I'm gonna have to select on each one, okay. Click on the arrow key. If you wanted to do another offset, let's say you wanted to do, what do we do, 15, 30, 45, then you again, click in the white space, click on the paint bucket, pick on a color, it's the same process. But if you're done, then you want to click on the arrow and you want to grab this whole thing. So everything that is on your canvas, you grab, you're gonna to go to path, object to path, file, save as, and then you're gonna, you know, type in goals 2021 offset demo. Okay, now we're gonna go into design space. So look at that. That was easy, right? Um, okay, so we're gonna go to upload, upload image, browse. You have to find your file. So it was goals 2021 offset demo, right? Um, uh, okay. I know I have so many things in here, as you will too. Okay, goals, 2021 offset demo, and click on open, double click on it or click on open. You want to change the image name here if you didn't name it properly because you wanna be able to find this again if it's something you're gonna use over and over and over. It's always good to change it here. Don't put like one or two because then you're not gonna find it. You can also add tags. So like if I wanted to put down here um, year, um, planner so that when I'm searching for things, I can find this again. I am very bad at this. It's, I know, I'm just shooting myself in the foot for later, but it is just what it is. <laughs> but the better you are, the easier it is for you to find things, okay? All right, then you can 
Then you're going to click Save, and then you wanna click on your item. So see, it's selected with the green outline now, right? And insert your image. So we're gonna recreate these three, these three things, okay? So over here, you're going to ungroup. So the first thing that I do is I grab my pink, my most biggest layer, it's my top layer. I'm gonna put it to the side. And when I do my offset, I don't like these little circles in here. I'm just gonna go to contour and hide all. And it just hides everything that's in there. It, it leaves just this outline, this full big outline, okay? Here's goals. And for goals, this is, you know, this is up to you what you like. I don't mind so much the big holes for the O, but I don't like these little ones. But in fact, if you look over here, I don't like any of them. <laughs> so again, you can go to contour and you can either select the little things like you don't want this thing and you don't want this thing. Watch, I'll show you now. It disappeared. So contouring is gonna be one of the top tools that you use. But in my case, I don't want any of it. So I'm gonna go back to contour and I'm gonna click on hide all. And it's gonna close out everything and just give me the offset. Now I want this on top so that I can see it like that. So just go to arrange and send to the front. This will move this one on top of that, okay? Now the word goals, goals is in black. So goals and 2020, 2021, is connected and you can see that because it's grouped together right here and you also know that it's grouped together because look right it's grouped together and you know this too because you can ungroup it so let's ungroup it for now okay and i'm just going to group 2021 so that it moves together as one item as opposed to if we ungrouped it if I want to click on something, only my two is gonna move. So I, I know that for 2021, I want everything to move together, so I'm just gonna group it. So right now I can resize it, and when I resize it, it takes it pulls the whole um, four numbers with me. Okay, so here's this one. Let's fix this, right? So 2021, let's scroll over here in our right-hand side panel, and we're gonna grab the purple items. So here's the one, hit your shift key, grab the two, zero, two, and we're gonna weld it together because I don't want it to cut out individually. I want it to be one solid piece. So here's my solid piece. Um, and again, I don't like those holes, so I'm gonna go to contour and I'm going to hide all. So here is my 2021. Now I have my blue layer. My blue layer, I am also, and you can see right here, it's individual items. I'm gonna group it so that it moves together as one. Okay, so here's my 2021. Here's this one, I'm gonna move this one on top. I'm gonna go to Arrange, Send to the Front, just so that I can visually, um, you know, work with this file. I know the colors that I want, whatever. Okay, goals. So goals right now is also each individual letter. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you two different ways. I want individual letters and then I also wanna weld it. Welding is the proper way to do it, okay? So let's make a duplicate of this one and I'm gonna show you why because on this one, I wanna weld it. And when I weld it, you'll see the word goals is now one item on here. So it welded, it's one whole piece, um, and this is what it looks like. Now let me show you when you don't weld it, even though it looks like it's all good, okay? It's not all good. And I'm gonna be able to show you this by changing the colors so that you, can, you get a better visual. I also cut it like this, so later when I flip the camera views, you're gonna be able to see it but I'm gonna change it to two different colors so that you can really see the difference. Um, this one, I'm gonna do this color. And I'm gonna arrange, send to the front, G. And then this one is going to be yellow. And I'm gonna put that one to the, arrange, send to the front. And then my L is going to be blue. So you can really see what's going on right here. And then this one, I'm gonna to move to the front and change it to yellow. Okay, so it, when you don't weld it, this is what happens. The G will cut out individually. It's gonna cut into the O. The O is also gonna cut into the A, okay? So the O has this cutout of the G and 
when I arrange this and send to the front, you're gonna be able to see the O is gonna go into my A, it's gonna cut around. I mean, this is not what you want, right? I think it looks horrible like this. Um, right, that doesn't look good. I mean, it definitely doesn't look good with two colors, but even with one color, you, this is not what you want, right? You want it welded together. So you're gonna grab all of this, and when you weld it, you'll see the difference. It becomes one and the G blends into the O, the O blends into the A. I mean, it's exactly what we want. So I see this a lot. Um, you know, I feel bad for the person making the project because they might not realize it at first, but it looks so much better like that. Um, I know that we say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but there are times when it's just no, there's definitely a better way to do something. And this is one of them. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Okay, you've got everything, right? Now, the other thing is I'm going to get rid of this for a second. I wanna show you something. So 2021, we grouped together, right? So let's go to the Make It screen so that you can see what everything looks like. So goals and look at 2021 is not in the right order because we only grouped it together. We didn't attach it. So if we want it to come out in that order, we need to attach it. So let's see if there's another example. Same thing here and not here, because this is just the outline. So let me cancel. Let me show you what one of them would look like, okay? So for 2021 on this one, I'm going to attach it. So we're saying, hey, I want it attached like this. It's going to print in this or cut in this order. So let's go to the Make It screen and you'll see in the black, now it changed to 2021, right? But our other one, because we did not attach it, it's still showing in whatever order. So let's cancel and let's group. This is already grouped together. It's moving together, but it, it doesn't have to be in this order when we go to cut it. So now we're going to attach it. And that means we want it in this order. Okay, so let's go to make it. And now you see it's 2021. It's not that important when you when you cut on cardstock because everything's a separate piece anyway, so you need to put it in order. But it matters when you're going to do iron on because then it's already straight, the spacing is good, you want it in the right order. All right, I'm gonna cancel out of this. I'm going to change my view, okay? So give me a second, I'm gonna flip on my other camera. So you're gonna have to hold, okay. I'm gonna flip to the, all right. Okay, great, so now you can see my desktop, right? I'm gonna show you everything that we cut and I'm gonna show you the difference. So, this is goals and this is unattached, right? So the numbers just came out the way it came out. Okay, so I don't think, you might have to go to my Instagram to see this one. So this one, I did not weld it, so each individual letter is cut out. So you're gonna have to see that on my Instagram, which is instagram.com slash the useless crafter, okay? All right, and I will have that link in my video as well. Okay, so let me show you everything that I did so that you could see. Um, but I would say that the biggest thing here is you wanna do lots of layers, okay? So like I cut out the cardstock here and you can see, I, obviously I didn't put it together, but this is the one welded. And everything looks better and it's more legible and more put together with an outline. So here's one outline, right? So that looks good. But when you have another one, and I know I, I picked the wrong colors, I shouldn't have done it like this. But when you have more layers, this is gonna make a difference with your cake toppers and your banners, and I don't know what else you would do, but I have a few more examples where you can see the layering matters. So this is a 3D block letter. This is coming up, so this is sneak peek. <laughs> but um, if you can see my bubbles, my air bubbles, look, it's three layers. It's sitting on top of each other. It's kind of popping out. It just gives it an extra thing. Um, same thing with here. You're just able to see and read, you know, Super Mario so much better because there's a black outline behind it. Same thing with this flower and the little mushroom guy. And so everything's kind of layered 
and then you can learn how to do this. Yay, it spins and the coins spin. <laughs> All right, I'll show you another example. So it's so much easier to read because there's a white outline for the letters. Um, and that, that goes more for like water bottles and stuff like that. It's hard to see things uh, when it's just the one word. Um, okay, but I wanted to show you too the difference between, so this is glitter vinyl, so it's like a sticker. This is glitter HTV. So I'm trying to see if you can see on camera the difference between the two. I feel like the HTV is just very, very sparkly. Like it shimmers way more. You'll see it more when I put it on this notebook. The other thing with transferring on the notebook, and because people ask me all the time, why do I use HTV on cardstock or on paper goods? Because when you transfer it, you need a sticker sheet to put on. So sometimes your sticker sheet will ruin your surface as opposed to ironing it on. So I'm going to turn on my iron, my mini right now. I'm gonna turn it to two bars, okay? So we're gonna do goals here. Um, so let's transfer this one first. So when you're transferring gold uh, or glitter adhesive vinyl, so sticker material, it comes, when you buy this, it comes with the strong grip transfer tape, which I just had here. Um, what did I do? Oh, here it is. So the difference is it's purple as opposed to gray. And it actually says strong grip on here, but that's only if you have this little square. If you actually had a piece right here, you wouldn't know what it is. Purple is strong grip. It's only for your glitter vinyl. If you happen to use the purple on regular vinyl, good luck. It's, <laughs> I will just recut. It's not worth the struggle. It just won't come off. So, all right, let's get this going. I'm gonna grab my scissors and we're gonna put down goals. So what you want to do is you want to pull off your transfer sheet, right, and then put it down. And we want to, I don't know what this tool is called, I call it the scraper. So you want to make sure that your sticker or whatever word you're doing, image, that it sticks to the transfer sheet because you want it on the transfer sheet so that it transfers nicely onto your new your new home. So when you're pulling it off, you wanna have this facing down and you wanna pull this, bend it all the way back so it's not fighting um, your material at all. If you, we want the material to stick on the sticker so you can see it's sticking and it's pulling nicely, right? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do here. So this is just a notebook. So I'm gonna line it up, put down goals. Okay. Then I'm going to really scrape it down because I need it to stick to my notebook, right? But then see, like, as I'm pulling this up, I'm getting some of the notebook. So you just gotta be careful, like, I mean, if you're doing it on a cup, it doesn't matter, right? You're gonna be able to pull up your thing. But if you're doing this, I definitely prefer to use iron-on. So I'll show you in a second. Because right now I'm like super scared I'm gonna pull this up and rip off my notebook cover, which I don't want. Oh, I'm so close. This is, you know, the end is when it gets you. Oh, amazing. <laughs> okay, you can reuse this. So I'm gonna put this back down because I'm gonna put the 2021 on here. Um, but in the meantime, let's cut this up and let's put this down so that you can see the difference between the two, okay? So I'm gonna put it down right around here. I have my iron on right, my iron here, and I'm just going to get it down. I'm gonna heat it enough that it sticks to my notebook. And 
And my transfer sheet is sticky in this one, but there. So I'm gonna pull this up. And you see this is less sticky than the other sheet. So I'm pulling up, it's no problem. And you see how it's not completely down yet? That's okay. We're just going to get this transfer sheet off, get this down, and then you want your Teflon sheet, okay? So the Teflon sheet's gonna keep it from burning from the iron. But can you see already the difference between this and this? This is so sparkly. It's so much more expensive looking in person as well. It may look like it's hard to read, but it's actually, it's not hard to read in person, but it's so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna iron some more to make sure that the heat is activating the glue on the word. So I wanna make sure that it's sticking. Okay, let me pull this up. And now you can see this is on. And it's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna put the 2021 on here. I'm going to use my transfer tape again. Move this up, put this down. So I'm gonna pull this up. Hopefully it sticks as well as it did last time. Okay, so it's all good. Okay, now this time I'm not gonna reuse this. I'm gonna cut as close as I can because I don't want this to rip off on my notebook at all. Ooh, I almost snipped it off. Okay. So here, I'm gonna put this right, maybe right here. bad right then I'm gonna put this one down okay this one so it's not completely ironed on but I want to get this off because I feel like it um, it keeps the heat from really coming through. So I want to get this off and then put my Teflon sheet on and iron it on for good. And there you have it. This um, iron on is so pretty on leather. Um, and just basically on anything. So I definitely have my preference. I love using glitter HTV over um, glitter vinyl. And I have a ton of rolls because I love glitter. Um, but this is great on acrylic sign. So there's a purpose, there's something for everything. All right, let me show you these letters. So the letters I'm not gonna glue down, but you can see like, my point with this is, you know, you want your layers. And I have all these examples here, but I have one more example to show you. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on here, but I left it on the mat because this is the one that we didn't, um, we didn't weld. And oh, it just like, I'm gonna pull it off here so you can see what happens to the G. So the G came off the tip because the O cut off the tip. So you can kind of just see, you need to make sure that you weld your stuff. So that was a really bad example because you can't really see it. Or maybe you can right now. So anyway, that's not what you want. Um, I'll show you one more thing. This is to show you like the difference between layers. And oh man, I hope it auto focuses again. So when you have the layers, oh, the last time I had to stick my face underneath the camera, which I don't really want to do right now, but you get what I mean, right? So that's why you need Inkscape because you have the layers of the stars and 
it just makes everything a little bit extra. All right, I hope the first five days this series helped you get started. Um, I feel like if you just take the 45 minutes each day, some of the videos aren't even 45 minutes, that it will help you tremendously with your projects going forward. Um, I appreciate you guys coming here and um, using my links and everything. And since you're new, well, I offer this to everybody, but reach out to me, let me know if you have more questions, give me some feedback, um, and I'm also here to help you with your projects. So if you need to do a cake topper for your son who's turning eight and he wants this theme, if you give me enough stuff um, and I have it available, a slot available, I will record a tutorial for you from beginning to end. I won't make it, but the hardest part I think is designing it. So um, I will do a step-by-step -step design space tutorial so that you can recreate it and you learn that way and everyone else learns too because it's very specific like sometimes you can watch something and then you realize when you go to make it you want to make a slight change but you have no idea how to make that change so all right that's it i hope you enjoy your cricket i love mine and i will see you with more projects all right thanks guys now i gotta turn off <laughs>